In today's equity index futures markets, let's look at the Dow futures today as they continue to realize upside momentum up for a fifth consecutive session. And to, with today's price action, uh, we are seeing them now setting uh, a new all-time high, 35,156 currently on the futures market. And I think when you look at some of the reasons why we continue to realize this upside momentum, uh, earnings expectations continue to slowly build as a, a positive trend. So far into the first couple of weeks of earnings, we are seeing 88% of the companies that have uh, issued their earnings announcements beating those announcements. And that's certainly, I think, higher than what the expectations were. Setting the trend and setting, uh, I think, the belief that we're gonna continue to see many of these earnings coming in better than what the market had anticipated maybe even just a few weeks ago. Now this week we do really get into the heart of a lot of the names that we'll be announcing with several in the Dow as well. And today we did see some leadership interest in Dow, uh, uh, which was the best performer today, but also we did see some strong activity in Intel and Boeing as well. So those were like the top three, I think, that really helped propel the Dow index higher and therefore we did see the futures follow suit. Uh, looking at some of the trends, um, you know, we continue to see, uh, again, this the strength being realized. Now, the Dow futures were one of the better performers today, as we did see, uh, again, some uh, outperformance within the industrial area and the energy area. Uh, the S&P futures were up, though, nicely today. We were able to hold on to a gain, and we did see the NASDAQ futures also holding on to a bit of a gain. And the Russell futures, so I guess, effectively, all four of the major futures markets were able to, again, establish uh, some positive momentum to start this week.